in this video, we will be adding more logics to our simple uh, process that we built in Arena. So the next logic we are going to include here is we would like to assign different drilling time for part A and part B. Let's say the average processing time of part A is three minutes and part B is five minutes. So how to do that using the assign module. So we'll go back to Arena and then we will create a new attribute and name it my service time. My service time. And then we will initialize it to two rows because we have two part. So when I initialize it to two, then I should be able to see that there are two rows and one column that has been created inside this new attribute. So it says part A is taking on average three minutes. It, it's not following any distribution, it's constant. So part A is taking three minutes on average to get processed and part B is taking five minutes on average to get processed. So I'll just assign those two values and close the step. Next, I'll go to my drilling process. So over here it says that the delay type is triangularly distributed. Instead of that, I'll select expression and it will be in minute. In, it, in expression, I'll go to build expression and then I'll select attribute value value of my attribute called my service time and click OK. So when it's uh, and then over here I have to put a index because my service time is a two by one matrix. So based on my part type which will take a value of one or two a service time will be assigned over here. So let's say a part gets in and it's a part type one. So it will flow out of this assign module, enter this process module. And over here uh, in expression arena, we'll see, okay, I need to access my service time uh, array, my service time attribute array. And as my part, as the entity part type is one, so I should get the value which has been initialized in the first row of my service time. And if it's the other way, if it's part two, it will do the same over here. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And save the file. All right. Next, so we have created this logic. So just to see it, whether how it's working, let's go ahead and try to animate this variable or attribute. So for that, we'll go to animate toolbar, we'll select variable, and in expression, we'll go to build expression, and then we'll reference the value of my service time. And in bracket, I'll put the name of the attribute called my part type, and then click OK and OK. I'll paste it here. So the first time we'll see that it will have an exclamation mark because in the beginning when an entity is created, it doesn't know what kind of part it is, whether it's part A or part B. But after it enters this module, it gets its first assignment and then it gets its picture. And then when it arrives over here, it access a attribute array called my service time to get its service time. So let's see how it looks when we run. Let's go ahead and click go. So in the beginning, it's like that. And over here, it went through this assign module and based on the part type, it's getting its service time. Part B has a service time of five. And then it's flowing through. All right, let's go ahead and stop the run. The next logic we're gonna introduce is somewhat similar to the previous logic we just did. However, right now we want to define the processing time as two distributions. We would like to define 
part A processing time following an uniform distribution, which has a minimum value of one and maximum value of 1.4, and part B following an exponential distribution with a mean of three. So let's go to arena. So let's go to the attribute we just created. And over here, let's go ahead and try to define this to distribution. Unif 1 and 1.4. However, we'll see that it's in yellow. Whenever you see yellow color in arena, you have to think that you have did something incorrectly you have defined something which is not appropriate with arena syntax okay so basically in attribute you cannot define any function any probability function or any kind of mathematical expression you can just define numbers so we can't initialize the servicing time for the parts using certain probability distribution like this for that, we would need to use expression from advanced process panel. All right, let's go ahead and close this one. Let's change this row assignment over here. And then, okay, one minute. And over here, I'll just uh, delete this row. All right, okay. So my service time is just a single valued attribute. Let's go to advanced process. Let's select expression. So expression is also a data container in arena where you can define different mathematical notation or probability distribution that you can't do for your attribute as well as for your variables. All right, let's go ahead and create an expression called my let's just name it service time and then we will initialize it to row of two because we need to assign two service time for as we have two kinds of parts so double click over here and then see due to this two we have two rows here so part is our part uh, entity type uh, one Processing time is distributed uniformly between 1 and 1.4. And for part B or 2, it's exponentially distributed between, with a mean of 5 minutes. So these are the code word for uniform distribution and exponential distribution. If you don't have them, you can just go ahead, click here, and then go. Let's just try it with. A blank one and in an expression you can go to build expression and then select your random distribution let's say if it was gamma you should have defined it using the parameter trigger alpha and beta and so on so you can do that way however as you uh, get familiar with using arena you can just type those in make sure they're spelled correctly all right then let's click ok and then over here, we need to make an assignment. Let's go to assign module. And then let's go to end of list. Let's click add. And then we are assigning an attribute. What attribute? My service time. And then we'll go to new value. Right click over here, go to build expression. And then we'll select expression value from advanced process variable. So you need to go to expression, click on value. We just have created one expression. It's called service time. And it's a two by one matrix. This is just the way we did for an attribute called my service time. But now my service time is just a single valued attribute. And service time, which is an expression, is a two by one matrix. Here, we will reference it based on my part type. So if it's part type one, it will get follow a uniform distribution to get its service time to get a particular realization. If it's two, it will follow exponential distribution to generate its service time. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And then we'll go to our process data module. 
Here we can see its expression, rest, all of it will remain same. However, my service time is a single valued attribute. So my service time is already getting assigned from this assignment, assign module. So we don't need to index it based on my part type because it's just a single valued attribute. So we'll just say my service time and then click OK and then save the file and then run it. A warning was generated for dimension of my service time. Let's go ahead and find all right. So over here, what I did is I was trying to animate the attribute called my service time. However, my service time is no more a two by one matrix. That's why Arena gave me an error. Let me just go ahead and then remove this one. Or let me just edit this before, instead of removing. So I'll just remove the index part and click OK. And then I'll just come here and save the file. And then I'll run it. So the first service, the first part was part B and it had a service time of 1.35. The next one was part A with a very long service time because they are getting generated from particular distributions and both of them have a separate distribution that they're following. So my service time is different for all the entities that are getting generated. All right. So this basically concludes our tutorial. Uh, so we learned how to define an attribute for service time or processing time for entities. And if it's following some kind of mathematical function or probability distribution, we cannot initialize it through an attribute assignment. We have to create an assignment through expression and then reference it into our model. All right, hope you have learned something new from this tutorial and uh, you'll browse for the next tutorial. Thank you.